Hello again. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Setting a timer for 18 minutes and actually remembering to set it this time. Okay, so I've got scoops and what's left of a dollar store dustpan, which is only that big. So avoid the big ones unless you've got a lot of money or a lot of paint. Um, also, the shovel. And what my intention is, is to try something completely new, which may or may not work. I will make it work one way or the other. So I found this bendy silicone tray it's a cookie sheet it's kind of sticky i don't know if that's going to make it difficult or not i'm hoping the paint will, will cure that problem so um i don't have a backup plan but i do have a lot of squeeze bottles with with marbles in that i shake pre-mix paint and all that so let me start by telling you i have an 18 by 24 inch pre-primed black canvas to the side and glasses and my timer is set and because the paint won't be thick, I can do, I imagine I can do, we shall see, all kinds of interesting things that I could not do otherwise. And I'm hoping that the give in the silicone tray will make it possible for me to pick those colors up. They seem to have tips everywhere. I don't need them. And I tried to zoom the camera out. I had to raise it up. I found a new tripod at the flea market along with a few other things and that was cool. So maybe I'll get the tripod that's not very well anchored right now into a better place. So I'm not trying to compose anything too hard but I ought to think about composing. I'm sure the colors are going to mix as I do this. I'm not sure how far to go with this either but it's kind of fun playing and uh, I remember that I need to put white Anytime. Where's my white pearl? I'm going to use my white pearl. I am if I take my top off. Looks like I've got two white pearls going. So if this works, it would be really cool. And I want more of that purple by far. I'm going to put it right on top of that white too. Basically doing a painting before I do a painting. It could work. It could. We don't know yet. I know what's missing. I never get to use any red. I like fuchsia plants and I like the zing that red provides. I'm a little worried about not having enough large areas of paint. I'm going to use some of this Prussian blue, which is mostly Floetrol with some DecoArt pouring medium in it, along with the GAC 800 that prevents the cracking when I use thick paint. That's the blue. I want some pale blue. Actually, I love this blue from last time. Last time you weren't. <laughs> I never put my videos on in order, so last time means nothing to you guys. I understand. So, painting before painting. And here it is. I think some orange. We don't know what's going to happen when I scoop this up, or even if I can scoop it up. <laughs> I might just wind up doing a dip which is probably a process for another day. A fun experiment of another kind. I like that yellow that I used. So I think I'm gonna go back. Maybe the bubbles will set out. Wouldn't that be cool? Settle out? Yeah. What am I missing? I'm kind of missing green. I'm kind of missing minty green and my color shift greens. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm sorry, I'm such a child. <laughs> really, really, really am. Especially when it comes to painting. Well, mostly. Okay, always just when it comes to painting, but. All right, I think I have enough color there. And if I don't, I got squeeze bottles. And hopefully I remember that my table is not level next to me and only my turntable is leveled. Ouch, that's not something I should have tried to figure out now. That means all that's gonna roll. What am I gonna do about that? Okay, I'm gonna try. Whoop. There goes my canvas. <laughs> Cluster. All right, so that's not moving too far, too fast. I'm going to put my tools behind me. Oh, I got a lot of stuff in my way. Not the sharpest tool in the shed right at this exact moment. I've been not sleeping until about, going to bed until about 3 a.m. to try and get the editing done on the book. And uh, all right, so that's staying more level than I thought and 
I am going to show you what I'm going to do first. Let's see what happens. Can I? Let's just do... One scoop and see what happens. All right, let's take... Yeah. Let's empty the scoop. I don't like wasting things. So I'm going to take what's in there. Whoops. Although it looked a little brown when I did that, so that didn't make me happy. But I'm going to put that in there. I'm not going to worry about what happened down here. And I'm going to push that over, even though I kind of like that pattern like it is. I'm going to try my shovel next. Where's my shovel? Right behind you. All right. I can actually, oh yeah, that's cool. Now, if I taper that out sideways as I'm running out of paint, I can often adjust the pattern a little bit. Just continuously scooping up paint with my shovel, letting some of it flow off the end, making patterns, making random patterns, making on purpose patterns. Oh, I lost a bunch of paint. Okay, I am going to take my tubing. And my dustpan, I don't know how much of this you can see, but I'm going to put it under that paint that's dripping off right now and use what's left of my shovel to add to what's here, sort of level the stripe out a little bit. doesn't matter that it's dark. We've never tipped one of these yet. This might be the first time to try that. There's a possibility I should be cleaning my tools between but I'm loving seeing the colors I want to pick up and using them. It's, it's the idea that I had, and I love it when something, when an idea comes together. I do, I do. I love it when I have my, my timer on also. Okay, so that's not level at all, but it doesn't really matter because I can do whatever I want. And I am. And the tray is kind of working. I don't know where you're going to get one of these things. <laughs> Hit the local church store. Best to keep it level if you can, though, honestly. So I may stick skewers in here or pull chains through or, or do something funky, fugly. I want some orange. And I'm going to throw it right into the little shovel of paint that I have there. And, yeah, I'm just going to ribbon pour it right out of that. Pick up some more. Not minding my dots. A little nervous about trying new stuff, always. Especially on camera. Of course, there's still the fact I don't have to share it with you if I don't like it. But that's that hasn't happened for a long time. Although I do have a backlog of videos, I gotta tell you. Stuff that needs a part three. There's a whole bunch of redos coming up at this moment. Not that that really applies to you guys, because you may or may not ever see them. This is fun. What am I going to do down here? I'm going to pick up some of my colors. Hopefully you can see a good part of what's going on there. And on purpose or not on purpose, I am dripping paint off the edge of my canvas because I tipped it. But it's sort of something I wanted to find out about anyway. It's 
Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs, you know? That's how it works. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? I can't conserve paint all the time and still use as much paint as I use, believe me. All right, so I like that red, but I want to allow myself, yes, cool, to do some other interesting things. And that's not bothering me. In fact, I'm having a ball. I should just be willing at some point in time to just say to heck with it and tip, you know? But I'm not sure this is that time because I still like the patterns that I'm seeing. I like experimenting with making new marks, too. I have six minutes left. I got a whole litany of stuff to tell you guys. I'm still working on the book to come out for Christmas. And um, I really want to just drag some stuff up and down in this. And I've got a shovel of beautiful colors. So I think I'm going to give myself permission to play now. So let's start at the, at the top and work my way down. I have a link to Amazon Tools and Toys that I put there. And if you shop there, it helps me out. So that would be great. You can find the OXO Omelette Turning Miraculous Paint Spreading Spatula there by the bigger one of the two if you're looking for that. And if you can't find something, just ask me and I will be happy to share any information I can with you via link communicating. Um, I've been really enjoying posting pictures to YouTube community lately with links for videos for the next day a lot of times. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to finish this, but uh, I am enjoying playing with it very much. I kind of like the geometric stuff we had going on recently, and that inspired me to want to do some more of it. And this could be that. Just going to use my spatula and maybe pick up a little more paint, although that's looking a little bit browner than I want it to. I like the stripes that go back and forth. So at the bottom of the description under the video are Volume 1 and 2 of the YouTube artworks on, a fa on two Facebook albums. And that's cool. I wonder if I can... Yes, I can. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> How far will she go with that? I don't know. Do I need one more? The description for my paint pouring recipe is also in the uh, description underneath the video. I just, just set up a uh, Teespring store. You'll see the, the sweatshirts and the t-shirts underneath the video a lot of times recently. And uh, check the black one out. It says I do because I can in very subtle black lettering so nobody will know. You'll be stealth. It's a black lettering on a gray t-shirt. <laughs> but uh, not so subtle on the purple hoodie. <laughs> says the same thing. Also, my, uh, my Chinatown Dragon leggings are pretty awesome. I like them, and uh, I'm, I'm working on designing more stuff. I just don't have a lot of time right now. And uh, there's tapestries and things like that. And they're not listed on any Pinterest boards yet, but you can pick up the link and see what I've put there so far if you follow it. So I like all of that. I just want more of something or other. And you know what? I just realized that because this is like this, that I can carefully take my skewer and lay it right in there. Yes, I can. That's awesome. I don't know if I'm going to be super happy with it going all the way down or not. I think that's where pipe cleaners might come in handy. But I like this really a lot right now. 
And I'm just I'm just rolling that skewer in the paint, which could probably happen with almost any cookie tray. I don't promise. I don't know for certain. And I have gorgeous paint over here on my side. I wasn't sure I liked it going down through here, but I actually really do like that. So I'm going to do it a few more times. Maybe I can move up. I think the uh, I think the pipe cleaner idea is probably not a bad idea. I don't want that there. I've got two minutes left to remember where I was when I was chatting you guys up. And uh, <laughs> this, like I said, Pinterest and Instagram links at the bottom, underneath the video, in the description. There's a few things I kind of wish I had not. But I'm having a good time, and I recommend this. I like the puddles of paint; they're not that hard to, not that hard to pour, pull, pull. Steel right over the side. Hopefully, I keep this going. I got a minute left to remember whatever I haven't told you so far, which I have no idea what it is because I'm really compelled to, to just keep playing with my artwork. So let's start at the top again. So this Amazon helps me. There's a description of the paint pouring recipe, helps you. <laughs> There's new clothing line under the video rolling right along. There's a recipe, I told you the recipe, I'm getting all mightily confused right at the moment. So I'm just going to let it go and say, this is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida, enjoying the heck out of playing with her new artwork. And um, I'm going to take a pipe cleaner and see if I can pick up some colors and use them. I might have to squish them down a little more. Ooh, I kind of like the randomness of that. That's neat. I think the best thing about the pipe cleaner is that I can bend it into my space that I want. Like so. And that's me saying if I come back it'll be only for a short time because I think we're pretty well done. I know I set the timer for 18 minutes. I don't know how different this will be. Look for my book on the Amazon link at Christmas. Oh, join the contest if you can find it. It's on the for new subscribers YouTube channel page or my channel page. Uh, we're giving away one of three artworks to anybody who contributes through donating to PayPal or Patreon. I get your email address and your phone number and I'll let you know if you win. And we'll announce the winners on December 8th. The contest ends December 5th at midnight, 2018. I'm looking forward to... Uh, finding out what you pick, whoever you are, whoever wins. So, for right this minute, I'm going to say I'm not done. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to this. Maybe nothing. Hard to say. But I have some more paint on my tray. So, as long as we're still here. Ooh, there you are. Okay. <laughs> this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio. Looking her painting over that's almost done. Thinking, I want to do some more. I'll be right back. Talk to you soon. See you soon. See you in the next video.